We have the privilege to explain here a common problem that uh, in research, particularly on climate, uh, we meet about uh, automatic uh, weather stations. Uh, here we have uh, installed two weather stations. You have one, one watchdog there. And here you have an electro. The watchdog there, we have problem with the cables. But we will focus on this one uh, that we are using. That's a very simple and very efficient in its concept. It's uh, Alecto Weather Station WS5000. And this is the, what they call the wireless weather station um, indoor unit. You see here. And this unit uh, that you see here is uh, very simple and very efficient indeed because it's a kind of small computer uh, receiving uh, from a certain distance uh, a few tens of, uh, of meters uh, the data collected or measured by the different measuring device uh, devices installed on the weather station pole uh, this pole we have actually constructed ourselves mm, we have adapted Actually, the weather station is only sold with this part on the box and we have adapted this uh, tripod that you can see here, very simple, that we can adjust also the, the height. It's installed here at 2 meter, classical, uh, classical height for measurement of uh, uh, weather parameters. So, what we want to talk about is not such the explanation of the, the, the how this uh, device works then solving a typical problem that we got on it and this problem is with the two uh, uh, de uh, measuring uh, units uh, that are actually mobile these two units are uh, related to wind and uh, you can see on the screen here they are related to wind, it's wind direction that's indicated on this uh, circle and the wind speed in, in the middle here. Uh, currently it's 2.5 and that's the uh, average of the last, uh, averaging the last measurement by the, uh, what we call anemometer. The anemometer is this one, giving the speed of the wind. And you have here the other device that gives the direction of the wind. And as you can see, these two are mobile. That means what? They are more fragile than the other ones. Actually, the weather station can measure up to uh, five or more parameters. This one is measuring uh, the rainfall. This unit will measure uh, the temperature, the uh, um, uh, humidity of the air, relative humidity, high and low. It uh, measures also uh, solar radiation uh, and the solar power. Uh, while you hear, here you have the wind speed and wind direction. The atmospheric, atmospheric pressure is also measured here in this device. Actually, you have accumula an accumulation of several measuring units inside this and here also you have of course you have the battery though there is a solar panel small solar panel here but where the weather station is really fragile at least for alec 2 uh, ws5 uh, uh, weather station uh, it's these two mobile things because they are more fragile or sensitive because um, the mobility is due to a system, a ball bearing system at the basis here that can get easily spoiled under very harsh climate, such as uh, in a tropical area when the sunshine is too much, it can cause uh, some trouble inside, and then uh, the, the, the ball bearing uh, is, uh, is spoiled and then the anemometer for example will not work 
properly. If you launch it, it will block. It will rotate and, and then stop suddenly. Uh, we have just solved the problem for this one by replacing this ball bearing iron. It's a roll, actually, at the basis here, uh, by buying some, something similar on the open market. And that's working fine. Uh, but when we install this one, the problem happens also with the wind direction device. As you can see here, here, it's blocking. And it's the same ball bearing system at the basis. So it will be interesting to follow step by step how we have solved this issue for this one. It was similar for this one as well. And it's working fine. It's measuring. If you turn it, the wind, the wind speed, as you can see, it's, uh, the anemometer is stopped. It's zero. And the wind speed is zero. But if artificially I turn, I turn the anemometer for a while, you will see that it will integrate the speed of, of the wind and it will no more be zero but some value above zero and so 2.5 currently for example so it means because it's a electromagnetic signal the uh, um, reparation repair that we have done on it was really only mechanical uh, replacing the 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 ball bearing uh, system uh, but uh, keeping all the all other uh, parts of the device similar. So we will do the same by uh, removing this this one uh, wind uh, uh, direction measuring uh, unit, and then replace it. And you follow step by step, and that that can be very useful for 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 you as well. Uh, first of all, we remove at the basis here these wires. And the wire coming from the anemometer is connected to the wind speed, uh, wind direction uh, measuring device. Uh, device. Uh, we will remove. There is a, a small piece that you just press, and, and then you pull it out, and, and then you get this. And that's removed. That means now we have no uh, information or data sent to uh, uh, to the the display unit, and then. We unscrew this here at the basis. You have to be careful. These are small, small pieces. Uh, uh, with a screwdriver, you remove this one. Yes, I take it off by pulling. And then you have uh, the other part on the other side, of course. So you have to be very careful not to, yes. And then I pull the superior part and remove it. Uh, it's uh, even better to keep this uh, this screw inside here, so next time you come, you don't have to look for it. And then I will uh, put it back and do this for to be able to take this off. The same way, the same method uh, to remove the extremity of this wire here. Then I have the unit, and then I put push this back because only pushed inside okay. this down and I put this back yes and this will stay here waiting for me to solve the issue and you see that you see huh? it's not it's not uh, rotating freely and sometimes it works and sometimes it blocks and actually if you uh, pull this little by little, you'll be able to remove it. Be careful not to break it. Uh, uh, so I pull, I pull. You have, I have to pull uh, little by little, little by little. Push. Uh, little by little, you pull it, you pull it. You make a small oscillation, you pull it. Pull it until yes, you see now, uh, as you can see. So this is only pushed inside this. So this is the the ball bearing system. Actually, this one is spoiled. That's why uh, it's not rotating freely. When I turn it, I, I can feel it. Uh, it blocks. It blocks sometimes, and and sometimes it's free. Sometimes it blocks. Sometimes it's free. So this device has to be changed. So. Um, once you have removed the, 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 the cup, uh, then you have to remove this uh, uh, ball bearing system, metallic one. 
of course I'm not touching the electronic system inside this is just they have just placed on top of a, a support here uh, um, a plastic support but you have to be careful when you are removing it uh, not to pull it in uh, uh, and carelessly uh, you you push one side and a lot, another side and you rotate little by little you push on the top uh, you push toward the top uh, little by little little by little little by little like this you turn and you push you pull it actually you are pushing it upwards and uh, little by little little by little uh, anyway this uh, ball bearing uh, roll is spoiled but i have to be careful not to spoil also the support because i will look for something similar on the local market of course the the, the ideal oops it's has fallen down but i can find it from the ground and then i have it back here so you do this support it's not circular actually you have it's like a, a square you have clear angles here four angles that's uh, where this uh, this uh, perfect disc will be pushed on and press and then it blocks now the problem of the wind direction non freely uh, rotating is with this unfortunately it's uh, almost impossible to get this from alecto itself so you have to look for something similar or exactly the same on the local market and then replace it and put it back. Um, in order to solve this issue with the non-rotating uh, wind direction device on our weather station, we took then the ball bearing system, the original one, that is here, with its external diameter being, as I can measure here, here, 10 millimeter, one centimeter, and the internal diameter being 0 0.5 or oh, this device this uh, ruler is not well adapted but you have an idea here here you can see it's five millimeter 0 0.5 centimeter so we took this one and we colored it uh, here not to mix with other things and we went across the market we look for uh, those uh, selling uh, ancient pieces of machinery and we found these two they both have an external diameter of one centimeter 10 millimeter as you can see here so for inserting inside uh, so 10 millimeter you can check for this one you see here it's exactly 10 millimeter the other one is also the same but the internal diameter of the middle one this one is rather greater than the original one this is six millimeter and this one is smaller is four millimeter so all these two are actually different from our original one but the important thing here is that at least they have the external diameter similar equal and then they can be inserted into the hole of this cap here because here internally is is um, a 10 millimeter therefore we have to check now how we can insert it here obviously the one with four millimeter diameter cannot be inserted in this one because it's uh, the diameter is too small but this one is wider and this is preferable because then we can uh, we can make a small uh, let's say uh, gasket uh, uh, in a plastic material uh, with uh, a diameter that uh, will be able we will be able to insert into this one and that will hold closely firmly this support and for that we have found this uh, plastic element as you see here which has uh, this is very flexible flexible pipe uh, which has an external diameter of actually six six millimeters so it's a little bit greater one millimeter more than so six millimeter here you can see six millimeter it's one millimeter 
more than the internal jam experience is fixable that uh, it will it will work um, uh, actually this diameter this six millimeter this one is also six millimeter and we can then therefore insert it mm? and this is very flexible we can insert so it's exactly the same uh, now what we will do we take this one the one having six millimeter I say that this is too big for the support actually so it won't work immediately you see it's great it's bigger so what we'll do we'll uh, insert this one here inside here you have to force a little bit we insert force a little bit force and rotate we force we rotate we force a little bit yes this is good and then what we will do is that we will cut uh, to have the same same uh, surface we cut here Pause. so when you cut the one side you have to leave a little gap huh, here after the ball bearing system on this uh, uh, flexible uh, pipe something like five millimeter and then this one has to be pushed here uh, it may be a little bit difficult then you you also make a small cut at the surface here yeah. so you make a small cut rounded perfect circle yeah in order to make that easier and then next step you can prepare this is okay I can see it will it will be easy to put inside but once I have put inside this must remain I don't have to I should not make a lot of changes here because this is the main support and the day this is fall again I have to look for another uh, ball bearing system and the joint can be uh, spoiled, the, the gasket can be spoiled, but this one, the gasket and the, and the ball bearing system, both can be spoiled, but this one, definitely I have to keep it in a good state. So what I will do now, I will prepare a small uh, amount of glue that I'll put carefully inside here, and then I will press this till I have this one, the ball bearing system, in position, in correct position I need, and fixed there so that it cannot be easily removed by wind that's what i do now i prepare the glue a small amount of glue here is the mixed glue and the one that that will uh, harden in a few minutes four minutes they say here even though the final harden hardening happens uh, a few hours after so i put this the first amount of um, the resin and then I complete with the same amount of hardener here then I mix uh, because this is this will harden very very fastly so I take a small amount with the stick and introduce here but what I say you have to be very careful not this glue to go inside the ball bearing system itself but I can put definitely here a certain amount of the wind direction device and then I introduce this and I push I push till it's yes it's in position now it's in a good position now you can see that this one so this bar bearing system is rotating freely while the original one was stacking it turn it stacks so this will rotate freely uh, and once after four minutes the glue uh, that's making the contact between the gasket the flexible pipe gasket and this and the support uh, will harden then I will cut here I will cut this uh, extra length and remove it and then I will push just inside the hole here the the ball bearing system external diameter and then the things are done so we just wait for a minute a few minutes it's normal, normally four minutes huh? i will cut the extra length here 
here. I turn little by little till this extra length is removed. Yes, and that's it. And you can still see that this is rotating freely. Now I can push the ball bearing system inside the cup here. For that I don't need a, a glue eh, because the diameter is adapted, it's one centimeter. But I have to, to press a little bit, eh, to be careful, to press and to rotate a little bit, to press and rotate a little bit, to press and rotate a little bit, mm, till I'm sure that it is inside. And while it's inside, I can see now it rotates freely. And then the problem is almost solved. So if the one wind blow, it will change direction. Then I will put it back on the support here. So I remove the screw first. I have to be careful uh, about uh, there are symbols here. This is a north. And actually we have oriented this one east-west. Uh, uh, with the use of a compass. And this one, normally, uh, you have some uh, elements inside that will insert to these holes. Uh, you have to be very careful and so that to have this into direction north and that one here, e, N here, E here, and W here, west. So this is the proper position and also the holes are correctly face to face now and then I will put back the screw and uh, then I will use the screwdriver to fix this yes uh, it's okay uh, don't uh, then this one the wire here has to be also put back at the basis here and while this one for the wind speed has to be put uh, on the hole here corresponding hole so this one I will do it for you. use uh, the fixators here at the basis uh, for the wire to put them at their proper position so that they cannot uh, move easily then I do that and now you can see it has started working already. The wind is direction west. But it's not sending data yet to the reading unit, the display unit, till I've fixed this wire because the current is coming uh, from the uh, wind speed uh, measuring device to the wind speed direction device and both signals are uh, transported by this wire that I will put back into this unit very important one where you have other devices uh, careful about this uh, small piece here so i put inside the hole yes uh, it's, it's written here wind and the other one is rain so this unit is actually the one sending wirelessly all the data uh, to the display unit so i will push it back inside and then i put this under all this in order to block all, th all things together so that I won't have wires uh, in every direction and I will turn it artificially to for example direction east yeah now wind, the wind speed and change you see here on the display a 7.2 while the wind direction is indicating east because I artificially pointed east. So it means the device is working. And actually you can see it here. If I push it, it's rotating freely. And it was unable to do this. Actually this Alecto weather station WS5000 is a wonderful device. The only weaknesses are with the bearing systems of the anemometer and the wind direct direction device. If Alecto could uh, solve this issue, that would be nice. I think it's one of the best on the market. 
uh, again on the display unit the measurements are down for maximum minimum of uh, the atmospheric pressure here you have the uh, relative humidity for these two devices even inside and outside inside being where you put this uh, this uh, display unit outside being where the weather station is and the temperature also uh, inside and outside it's giving also beyond all these the maximum and minimum values of temperature for uh, one day and you have the the um, the, the ultraviolet uh, rejection strength here very high extreme and moderate and low that's indicated by this small triangle uh, and also the light uh, power you see here that's 42.7 watt per square meter that's uh, the strength of the radiation and then you have the two parameters of the wind here uh, the, that's uh, the wind direction and the wind speed and also you have the rainfall uh, for 24 hours uh, here we have two, zero millimeter above of all this uh, you have the dates uh, and the time and very important the memory left and with indication of this this uh, 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 let's say camembert camembert drawing you see here we have uh, occupied with uh, the measurement data inside now are less than 25 percent so we still have place in the memory and you can you can read all this without any uh, extra device uh, that's making the thing very easy uh, as uh, uh, as easy as a, a child can use it and it, with the day you want to extract the data you just take the small software that's uh, coming with it or you download from the internet and you put your uh, uh, usb2 wire here you connect to the computer and you extract a copy of the data if you want also you can erase the data inside and one thing i want to mention is the capability of the device to predict uh, rainfall events or Yes, rainfall events by this. For example, in our case, in the next 24 hours, rainfall is announced. So this is really wonderful. Uh, thank you for watching this, uh, this video.